Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, let us solve a quite difficult problem. Actually, difficulty is not with writing the code. The difficulty is with understanding what the problem is asking and trying to optimize it using greedy. So we are still in greedy because these problems are tough. I'll take some time to explain. So there are two of the same questions. Actually, one question is in GFG, it is worded differently and the same is in SPOJ. So let us look at it. Before we start, let me tell you about an ebook. This ebook is on data structures and algorithms and it also has 15 plus HR questions. So this is written by a software engineer who has uh, worked in many multinational companies. It is very neatly organized and whatever you need is compiled in one place. Let me just show you some things like see the topics are neatly written over here. And if you need any reference, you can just click on this link. It will go to that particular uh, topic. Trees, graphs, everything is there. So if we want to check graph traversal, so it is nicely written over here. And uh, see here, the, uh, the author has taken effort in organizing it. So you should definitely check it out. It, it is available for a very affordable price. The link is in the description of this video. So let us start today's video. So the problem is, so in Spodge it is called chocolate. So basically what is the problem statement? We are given a chocolate bar. This chocolate bar is in the form of a rectangle. It has uh, M into N cells. M rows you can say and N columns. It has M into N cells. What are we supposed to do? We have to cut the rectangle into M into N cells. We have to cut, cut it into pieces and ultimately we should have M into N cells. Okay. How are we supposed to cut it? At each particular edge, there is a cost to cut. So as you can see in this diagram here, they have labeled it. If you want to cut along this Y1 line, I think you can see it, right? Should I, I don't, I, this Y1 line is there now where my cursor is pointing to. If you cut it along that horizontal line, there is a cost which is Y1. Similarly, Y2, Y3, X1, X2, X. So each edge, there is a cost. What is the total cost when you cut? Total cost when you make one cut. Suppose you cut at this Y1 edge, Y1 edge along this you cut, then it will result into two pieces. But before cutting, it was only one piece. What I'm trying to say is, imagine you're given this rectangle. Now you want to start cutting it. You start at this uh, edge Y1, along this edge you cut, okay? So when you're cutting, before you have cut, there is one piece only, right? So the so that particular cost will be Y1 into number of pieces. So you should understand that when you cut, you, when you make a cut, the total cost for that particular cut will be a uh, cost associated to the edge along with which you are cutting into number of pieces. So let me take it to the whiteboard now. <coughs> Excuse me. So imagine that you have a rectangle like this, okay? And it is divided into squares, into uh, rows and columns like this. 
Now suppose you want to cut along this edge. When you are cutting along this edge before that, how many pieces are there? One piece. This is entire one piece, right? So number of pieces into the cost associated with this edge. So now you have made this cut. How many pieces are there now? The pieces are like this, right? This is one piece. And the other piece is this, which will be something like this. So try to imagine that you have cut over here. So this will be one piece. This is piece one. And this entire thing will be piece two, right? Now, suppose you want to cut along this edge. Then you have to bring this piece and this piece together. So what is the observation that we are able to do? So if we want to cut along a vertical line, we have to bring all the horizontal pieces together. Similarly, if you want to cut along horizontal line, we have to bring all the vertical pieces together. This problem actually requires more effort from your side in making uh, the diagram. You have to make the diagram in your notebook or wherever you make, you have to make the diagram and you see what happens when you cut. Actually, how are you supposed to cut? What is the problem asking? We are supposed to find minimum cost of cutting into M into N squares. So you have to first make some examples, like just try and see you cut along one side, make the two pieces, then cut along another side, make some more pieces. You have to experiment initially to get an idea what I'm trying to say. But after you do that, you will realize that if you have to make a vertical cut, you need to bring all the horizontal pieces together. If you have to make a horizontal cut, you have to bring the vertical pieces together. But what is the question asking? It is asking to minimize the cost. So for every cut, So for every cut that we do, for every cut that we do, what happens? Actually, what is happening for every cut? See, there are two things. One is cost of cutting and it is multiplied by number of pieces cut. Where is this given, this data, where is it given? Read the question, you will get it, it is here. In this paragraph, you read it, it is there. Okay. So, it ultimately reduces to two quantities. Cost of cutting, that is along each edge, there is a cost. So, cost along the edge into number of pieces. Now, if you analyze carefully, this value over here, that is a constant because it is predefined. You will be given the cost along each edge, along the horizontal lines and vertical lines. It is already given. So it is like a constant. For each edge, it is a constant. The only variable factor is how many pieces are there at the time we make a cut. So how many pieces are there at the time we make a cut? is the question. See, when one quantity is constant and other is variable, if we have to minimize something, then when this variable value is small, we will multiply it at that time with a larger constant value. So what am I trying to say? As soon as possible, we will cut along that edge whose cost is high as soon as possible. What does as soon as possible mean? When the number of pieces are small, we will cut along the edges which are having greater cost of cutting value. See, actually there is a, I'll open the GFG problem. 
See, this problem in GFG is the same as this one in SPODGE. You can take this example, this example you can see on the screen, right? What I would, what is the algorithm? You have to choose that particular edge in such a way that if you cut it along that edge, you have to cut it in a way that you're minimizing the cost for that particular cut. So cost of cutting is predefined for each and every edge, but total cost of that particular cut, suppose you want to cut along this vertical line whose cost is four. You can see my cursor here, right? If you want to cut along that line, it is not only four, it is four into how many pieces are there. So larger the costing, the cost for larger the cost for cutting smaller should be number of pieces then only we will minimize the total cost the overall cost overall cost is sum of all costs of cutting and what is the cost of one cut cost of one cut is cost of that edge into number of pieces as they have given here in they have given here right total cost is total cost plus edge cost into total pieces so this edge cost is a constant it is already given in the array there will be two arrays what are the two arrays representing the two arrays will represent the horizontal lines uh, cutting cost and vertical lines cutting cost okay that is already given but variable will be total pieces because as you keep cutting, the pieces will increase, right? As I showed you in the previous example, I had made a rectangle, I cut it and I showed there'll be two pieces. Then you, then you take the two pieces and cut it along vertical, you will get more number of pieces. Like that, the number of pieces will be increasing. So when the pieces are increasing, we have to choose those edges in such a way that this is minimized, this value is minimized. So best thing is you are given the two arrays which represent costs, right? Sort it in descending order because as soon as possible, we will take the edge which costs less. Sorry, we will take the edge which costs more because when we take it as soon as possible, the number of pieces will be less. So let me show the code now. See, this is the input, okay, M into N. M into N matrix, it's like a matrix, it's rectangle. So M rows, you can say N columns, but the array size is M minus one, N minus one. As you can see over here, there are actually six columns, but there are only five edges. So edge is equal to columns minus one and rows minus one. So whatever is a size, sorry, whatever is number of rows, size minus one, rows minus one will be size of this horizontal array. What is this H and what is this V array? H array is nothing but the cost for cutting along each horizontal line and cost for cutting along each vertical line respectively. So I've taken that input and I've sorted in decreasing order. And now this while loop is like a two pointer approach. What is this two pointer approach trying to do? It is trying to find out the higher cost. As I told you, as soon as possible, we want to find out an edge with higher cost. So if H of I is greater than V of J, that means I am now cutting horizontally. H is for horizontal, V is for vertical. And I've taken two other variables where vertical, horizontal, which represent how many horizontal, how many pieces are there? How many vertical piece, how many horizontal piece? So th these two variables represent how many horizontal pieces are there? How many horizontal vertical pieces are there? Okay. So if H of I is greater than V of J, I'm cutting horizontally. And I told you in the beginning of video, if you are cutting horizontally, you have to bring all the vertical pieces together. 
because that will be total number of pieces for that particular cut suppose you have five pieces okay now you want to cut horizontally you have to bring the five vertical pieces see consider my hand as one piece and another hand is another piece i am bringing it like this because i want to cut along the horizontal so if i'm cutting along horizontal i have to bring both together and then cut it right so if i'm cutting horizontally i have to know the vertical lines and once i've cut it horizontally if i have made a horizontal cut i have to increase horizontal this horizontal is what horizontal pieces so horizontal pieces i have to increment because when i make a cut i have increased the number of pieces by 2 by 1 similarly for vertical i have to know how many horizontal pieces are there if i am cutting vertically if i am cutting vertically like this i have to know how many horizontal pieces are there after i cut it vertically i will have one more piece so vertical pieces plus plus and as it is two pointer approach there is a chance that suppose we cut all the vertical lines horizontals are left because we need m into n cells we need m into n cells right so we have to make all cuts we have to make all the cuts that means we have to cut along each edge if you have to get m into n cells we have to cut along each edge all the horizontal and all the vertical so this these two while loops are taking care of that pause the video and analyze what have i done here why have i written this you try to analyze it so this was the greedy approach that the number of pieces if it is less we will take a edge which has a higher cost as soon as possible we will take the edge which has a higher cost because number of pieces should be less over here the only variable factor is number of pieces as you can see this vertical plus plus what is changing vertical horizontal what is this number of pieces horizontal pieces vertical pieces number of pieces will be key, continuously changing i hope this was i am somewhat clear i don't know how else to explain it to you uh just rewind the video maybe you will get it try it by yourself take a pen and paper make the rectangles cut it then you will understand what i'm saying so these two are the same and i have submitted and uh, the link will be in the description the solution link i uh, i will put it okay thanks for watching this video if you really liked it hit the like button share it with all your friends if you are solving these kind of problems subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you haven't you just keep watching the video please do subscribe it will really motivate me and share it so that's all take care stay safe keep learning keep growing okay bye